Alright guys, there we go with the second card of the cash game challenge. I already hopped into it, defend the big one with the ace-5, and this is the flop. We finished the last session being up $15 after getting set out there by threes. But, you know, we're here to move up on stakes and hopefully today we ship. Coming in for the call here and hopefully the rule goes check-check. I don't think he has too many hearts, I feel like most of his hearts he will bet on the flop, so... I think we should go like check-check here quite often and win, yeah. I do think it's too thin to value bet though. But you know, that's a good start, winning our first part, being up to dollars. Pretty good feeling, I like. I certainly like that. I also decided to like just leave the crap on and not update it. Um, so, I don't know, you will see the last session as well in the crap. I'm not sure if this is good any or not. Um, give me your opinion on that, we can change it obviously. But I figured it would be good. And yeah, it's still the same day. I had a short meeting between like the first episode and the second one, but you know, we're ready to go. And I mean, last time we got pretty lucky. Besides the end, obviously, we got sucked out there in the end, but like, we flopped some sets and stuff, uh, all of our bluffs didn't work, so it was nice to run good in these spots. Queen check now. Um, like, this is a spot where I'm not sure about, like, if calling is too great. I guess we just go for the three bet. Maybe a little bit small. I can usually go 3x in cash. It's kind of awkward to play without hard guys. You just feel so naked, you know? You feel so naked. <laughs> but you know, we give him the 3 bit. See how he reacts. Like, I think flatting is fine. Like, folding is certainly fine. But that's like. It's too easy. It is too easy. Please have, like, check 10 nude. I don't think. Oh! <laughs> Oi, oi, oi. Sign me up, baby. Sign me up. Alright, if we call here, the pot would be 21. Daughters, I think we will just rip it. And we could call, but I feel like when you race, you will have something here. And not super many complete air balls. But we could just call as well. And call him down. I will call. Alright, that's a good turn. That's a safe turn. Um, not sure if that's good. But yeah, we will definitely take that. Oh, yes. <laughs> he goes wild with the check nine, man. <laughs> and just like that, we will be moving up stakes. I mean, what is the start, man? What is the start? <laughs> All right, there we go. Boom. <laughs> wow, this is pretty sick, man. Oh my God. I'm in. All right, there we go. Next table is up. 25.50 in the house, baby. What up? What up? Not bad, dude. Not bad. He goes a little bit too wide with the check 9. And we say hello. And we up 47.41. So that means, let's say if we are up $100, we will move up in stakes. If we are down to 0 again, we will move down. Oh man, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Just stacks off of the check nine. I, I take it. I take it. Poker can be easy when you flop straight, guys. A wise man once said. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is so sweet. Oh, I gotta be careful now that like the plants are bigger. That I do not like raise it to 58 cents, even though that doesn't even work, so it's good. Oh, we get the walk. Ooh. Feeling good. So yeah, I will leave the craft on. Like we could potentially change the new one. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if you see too much down there on the craft, but you know, just give me feedback, guys. This is a new episode, a new idea. Give me your feedback. Give me your feedback. You know, let me know. Let me know how you feel. <laughs> um I would flimp this one. It's kind of nice, you know, when you don't stream, just record stuff for YouTube, you're not afraid that people will snipe you or anything. It's pretty relaxed. You need to have to like read the chat as well, so I can just talk to you guys and see how we do. So far we didn't get like too many good hands. Also got like the auto rebuy on if, in case some of you guys are wondering why we always have fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. King check. Oh I don't even have music on. Let's put it on. But definitely not that tune. Once again, I will put it through with the hand like that. Um, once again, I'm not sure if that's correct or if you should just flat. But that's what I'm going with. So deal with it. 
snaps us. Guess we found like a bat here. Gonna fold like some ace, ace eight pseudo type hands or like he doesn't probably fold it like ace ten, you know, king queen. And win the first part. Another 50. Kings now, alright. And we'll be playing NL 1000 in no time. <laughs> we got a call here. Come on, big boy with the squeeze. The squeeze the Roni. Get it on. Alright. I think we see that here. Like, we block him from having king, queen, king, check, king, hen. So he has like more ace x that he will float us every time. And now we'll check. Give him the chance to bluff like some of his big ace x. Also, not build like too big of a pot. It's a pretty big sizing. I'm coming for the call and deciding the river what's best. <sighs> he checks it back. That's great to see, man. Win another pot. Awesome, dude. Man, it was a big size on the turn. Probably had like, I don't know, I, I go with ace check off here. Seven dudes suited. Wow. We will definitely pull in on that guy. <laughs> Flats. Seven dudes suited. Um, cut off versus ace check. Checks over here. Gonna raise it up. Nice float on a flop, sir. Seven dudes suited, dude. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ooh man, look at that look at the cash graph man. I like this. I like this. This is fun. Man, I just want to have like I don't know, I just want to punt a little bit and now we're here and like winning money. Alright, that's a pretty smart three bet. Ah, oh, it's for three X. It kind of feels small for like cash game. I always figured people like four X at our position. But yeah, what do I know? Gonna defend here with King 10. Pretty good hand. Um, we could float here. Not that sizing. Like with the King of Spades, also much better than like the 10 of Spades. Pocket Deuces, I think we are playing. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, man. Seven Deuce. He champs, and he will take it. Queen knight will open up before queen knight off, but like queen knight off has enough connectivity to continue, you know, check 10, king, easy flop. Can you please stop like 3 betting me? I'm just kicked, yeah. We're getting owned. They, don't, they do know that I never have anything, man. People do know. But hopefully they do not believe us this time when we come for a 3 bet. Or oh, just a raise here versus limp. I'm gonna 5x this. 5 exit again. Don't wanna give him the best odds. And people still like to continue once they limp. Not sure. We want to build a pot there. So that'd be $54 now playing cash. Not too bad. Not too bad, but you know, we obviously want more. We want more. Of a Kali. I'm like, I'm not sure what this UDG opening range is here, but like, I, th I guess we continue here with the ace-line. Both the better holdings I have in the spot. I feel like this turn should go check-check quite often. And this river as well. We could check race because we blocked like the do not spade draw. We have the same hand, so let's chop it up. I'm done with that. No, sorry guys, I'm about to get a little sick, maybe. So yeah, I'm still leaving for Berlin tomorrow. I mean, if you see this video, I'm probably in Berlin right now playing some live poker. Excited. We're having a little bit of fun playing some cards. Feels good. Alright, let's 3 bet here with the East King. I would just go for like a 3x in position all the time, and like 3.5, 4x out of position. I think that should be like a good strategy. Let's give him a good old 3x. You could also just call. 
You know we want to build a part here. He will start getting caught with like weaker hands than that, right? Obviously, it would be a little bit awkward once he forwards us, but I think versus a forward, we would just peel and play pop in position. Oh, the cold forward. And now we're in kind of an awkward spot because like the sizing is fucking huge, you know? So once we call here, the pot would be like 30 and we have like a pot size bad left. So I think getting in pre is slightly better. I could be wrong though, but you know, ace-king suited should be good enough. He's six-handed. All right, here's ace-king as well. Oh my god, give me them hearts. <laughs> Cash game too easy, guys. Holy fuck, dude, that is sturdy. That is sturdy. Oh my god, man, running too hard. Running just too hard. Oh my god, that's pretty disgusting, dude. Oh god. Feels bad, man, that poor guy. We got him. We got him. We up 100 bucks, guys. It means we move up again. We move up again. Man. On fucking fire. Let's sit on the next big band and then we will move up to another 100, I guess. Look at this fucking crap, man. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And it's... Oh, the end of the 100 pool is not running. No! Alright, I guess we will just continue playing end of 50. And next time we will... Um, maybe play on another side or something else. But there's like, there's 1-2 running. But there's an end of 100, only has one player right now. So, yeah. One two is like slightly too big. Fuck, sorry for that. I would quickly move my phone. So we just continue playing with our one hundred dollars. See how that goes for the rent and uh, for the rest of this video. But yeah, dude, you know, just is... <laughs> wow, what a disgusting hand, dude. So disgusting. Oh my god, just always lucky, guys. Just always lucky. Man, it's just, it's just disgusting. And these we had like a suited hand, you know, like in my history, I always felt like if you have the suited connect, you know, like it's so much worse to have like ace king of hearts and like ace of clubs, king of spades, for example, because you can make two flushes, right? So yeah. Now, nah, obviously just trolling once more. You know, like 50% of the stuff I say here is just a lie. It's just me trolling around. But you know, intelligent people will understand the sarcasm there. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that EV. Like the orange line on my craft is the EV line, so our all in expected value. And the green line is what we actually want. <laughs> There's a little gap here, which means that we're running good. So yeah, let's go. Once again, like one of these short, weird short stacks. Um, I feel like his flag rage hits the spot super hard. I do not want, like, like I do not want to um, check fold though. So I think I will see that small here, continue burning on, on like a king, a queen, an ace. Not on the check, just checking it here. I don't think he has any flash draws, I feel like he would get them in three. So his range consists out of a lot of value in my opinion. So I would just give it up here. But it was the thing, like once we check the flop and he bets, man, like we don't, we can't really call, but I feel like C-bearing is so much better because we can continue burying. See, he was the check nine. You going for the defend and play some post ball poker. God, I, I can't believe this is king, man. That was so sweet. I usually do not get too lucky in the cash game streets, it feels. Because it's mainly because I'm just not the best player, right? But I mean, hell yeah, let's fucking go. Flop a gut shot here. This spot hits my range much harder than his, so he will take this part away quite frequently, I would assume. So we give him a 2 11 here and he will just fold. If he calls, we'll give him another bet on the river. And yeah. That's what we are doing now. I mean, with the queen, it's not that we have too many bluffs. Even with like a 7 or 6, it's pretty tough from the call. So let's hope he just folds. Or is this like, I think we haven't bluffed successfully once in this fucking game. Unbelievable, dude. The problem is like I don't really see what we lose to here. I'm gonna jam it. Might be a little bit crazy, but I feel like he will just he's just trying to bluff us here too often. And we can have all the good value hands, we block 8-9. He's queen 5 in cards. Um not sure if that is a good card. I mean 
Ja. Yeah. <laughs> vi gør det ondt. Vi gør det sådan det ondt. Ej. The problem like what I just thought is like, I mean, look at like, I can have better hands for value. I can have like, you just like, this is like probably the top of his range as well, you know, like maybe queen seven, queen six. And I figured we could like make him fold a lot of these hands and yeah, I'm surprised he like makes the easy call with the queen five. Um, pretty much owned. <laughs> Only up 50 bucks now. Ah man, after he has kings I got, I thought we were unstoppable. I feel like it's not too bad for me to bluff there, like, either. I, f I just feel like he doesn't have that many good hands, you know, and like, a queen five, I'm not even sure if he makes the call there. Like, I didn't expect him to make the call there every time, you know, so. I guess he was a little bit in a hero calling mood and made it rather quickly and old, that's pretty hard, so let's run it back up again. I went for the seabed here with the king of diamonds and... You know, that way we can uh, definitely see like a free river as well. By checking it here. It's a pretty good run out. Um, oh my god. Yeah, I think we call you though. He like, look at all these draws that are out there. Like that. Alright. We can hero call as well. We can do the same thing. We can do that too. Alright, a little bit of peeking again here. Feels good, man. After that devastating Queen 5 card. But you know, that's. Like, I enjoy cash, man. It was fun. You know, we got like owned. I know. It was an interesting hand there. I also feel like I do not have many bluffs in that spot usually, you know? So, like, bluffing there with the check 9 seems decent. It's not our flop here. I mean, check 9's U flop's pretty good. That's where we came along pre flop. Um, but yeah, on this flop, we will just fold and lose another fifty dollars. Man, the queen five hero card. What is this jam, dude? I'll fold and watch. Oh, that doesn't quite. Oh, ah, so I have an open one, another one. Ah, okay, I'll I will leave open that here. So we can like sneak peek what happened here. He opened champ seven nine zero, got caught by ace ten. <laughs> 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 oh my god, man. I feel like. These guys are just like, holy shit, what's happening here? What? Oh, all Gucci, all Gucci. Much just like a little bug on my end. <laughs> wow. And on it goes again. Let me know what you think about the bluff, man. Now you will say, oh, that's such a bad bluff. I mean, it's a pretty bad bluff if you caught the queen five, you know, but I didn't expect people to be that punty, to be honest. Right, let's fire out here. I would probably have the best hand here with the queen hand, you know. Value betting. <laughs> I'm gonna open this. Maybe it's a force to fold queen check, but you know, flop's pretty decent. Maybe you can just take down pre and win some more chips. Or well, actually dollars, you know. It's not MTTs, this is a cash game. So it's actually 50 cents. So yeah, right now, like, we move down in stakes again, if you're, like, down to a 20 plus, I guess. Is that how it works? I have to, like, I have to think there's a system a little bit more through. Um, we move up once we hit 100. Yeah, maybe you need to do, like, a little bit safer. Otherwise, you know, if I bust one bullet and a 100, I'm just down at zero again. But I guess, I guess that's the system, you know? I guess that's the system to, like, grind up. Um... Because, like, if he was deep, I think he could, like, overcall you. But I think in this case, we'll just fold. Like, even, like, even if he's deeper, man, like, overcalling isn't great there. So, I guess folding is the best there. Eh? With pocket 8s, with, like, pocket 10s, he's certainly coming along. Mm -hmm. Let's get some studio hands here. <laughs> <laughs> It was pretty much the opposite of a playable hand there, man, with the eight is off. Doesn't get much worse than that. Alright, oops, I think from the cutoff we can open, but once again, this could also just be a fold. Off suit, you know, a really not a good hand. Man, this Queen 5 hand. 
Uh, I went with the Reed, dude. I went with the Reed. I thought he was weak, and he was kind of weak, you know, green five. Versus like a bad, like versus a three bad champ on the river there. He's not doing too well, but you know, let's leave that behind and move on. You know, just let, let's just beat Ace King with Ace King again, you know, that's what I'm good at. Can we win here? I will not see. I will not find out. I don't think we are. We played a board, right? So that shouldn't be good enough, often enough to make the call. It's a playable hand. Um. I mean, it's not a bad candidate to be 3 betting here. He does just fold with him behind. I'll go with the 3 bet here. And he blocks some really nice combos. You know, block tags, we block base. And I feel like it's a little bit too weak to be flatting. So maybe like bluffing with it is a little better. It's a decent flop. We also have the Ace of Hearts, which is nice. I think we will fire. And continue barreling. Just take it down, alright, $63, I like that. No. Let's get back to the $100 profit. Hello? Ah, oh, there we go. Not gonna play this, baby. Come on, aces, we haven't had aces yet, man, in the session. Not in the last session, we only had like kings multiple times, but you know, kings is not as good as aces, eh? We just beat Ace King with Ace King, man. So sick. Ah, feels good. We fold again here. And fold again. Suit up would open this turn, the eats itself, otherwise, uh, a little too weak. Man, it's boring. Give me some hands! Alright, that's a hand. We will certainly. I mean, we are not guaranteed to play this. Mm -hmm. Poke, it's a choke. <laughs> <sighs> Great stuff. Great stuff. Mm -hmm. Come on, make your decision, guys. I want to play. Like, I'm not sure if you... Like, we were raised here with limp, right? I mean, our hand is so strong. Should destroy his limping range. I guess in this case, we're just overcalling. Even though, like, three betting could be fine again. But you know, let's just see some clubs here. If there was like one club out, nah, not even with one club, we're just out here every time. <laughs> we got the backdoor Broadway draw, but that's about it. With the bat and the car from this guy over here. Easy, easy to fold. <laughs> and I had a good feeling about the Queen Jack pre flop to be honest, man. It felt like a good hand, you know? Queen Jack can always flop like straight, splashes, everything. Let's see some lucky blue cards here. That's a pretty good flop, actually. Um, we gotta be a little careful here, though. Alright, I guess we just bet two times now. I'm trying to get some aid from like his weak aces, his checks, and some other hands like that. I hope we don't get a race here, it would be super awkward. I would just fire again, and then hopefully we get like a hero or something. I think we need to be polarized here, right? Ah, we don't need to be too polarized. Hmm. Let's go like 6.15 or 26 in case I have this type. We take it on, that's fine. That is fine. Better than losing to a flush, eh? Alright. Uh. Why did he have to call with the queen five, man? No fighting. No fighting back, though. No crap goes up, goes up, slow and steady. Waiting for that big part. I feel like our sizing with the a6 was like slightly too big there. Maybe should have just went for the 515. Hmm. We can limp here, we can just fold. Not quite sure. Like 6 second off, I definitely play like 5 4 off. Not entirely sure. We could all just go for the lazy bane fold. Now it's an easy fold. So that's nice. <laughs> when you don't have to face the decision yourself. Man. Asus! Asus! One day that will work, guys. Not everybody will be like, oh my god, it's so rigged. 
If you could just call your cards. But only I could do that. Nobody else. Would be sweet. Rather quick defend here. Just to think that he has like a lot of like student connectors here. Like or student broadways, I mean. Come in for the seabed. Turn is decent. We'll check it. Pretty good river. Um we could value bet here. A little thin though. Um I guess I will still value bet. Good call by like weaker two pairs here. 10 9, 10, 9 8, 8, 6. Alright. That might be too thin there. Maybe you should only very bad like check 10, check 9. Because like we couldn't lose to like all the check X himself. The way that he checked the river though was like, uh, I don't know. I don't think he has that many straights. Usually people tank a little usually people tank a little bit before they like make the check. You know 7-6 now, people limp. Raising is fine as well. Yeah, let's give him a limp. Come on, Ornu, let's play pot. Oh, well, you have to raise me, bro. I think I'm not falling there. Like a 3x that deep. I mean, our hand is pretty shitty, though, you know. Feels like a little bit weak to just fold, though. He checks it. I mean, the flop is like super dry, so I think when he checks, he has like more value hands than usual. So, they guarantee to just fold and not do like some weird ass shit, like raising the turn there. King for suited. Is that just me being bored or actually good open? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I mean, like, King Knight suited would be definitely open. Like, King Sam's suited most likely as well. King for suited can't be that bad. It works out this time. You know, King for suited is so much better than A6, it feels. You know, it's suited. Not fucking off suit. Ain't nobody got time for that. But you know, I, what I like about this cash game is so far, like in the first episode, we had some good hands. And this one, we had some good hands as well, you know, that's, it's actually interesting. You know, at first I was afraid, like, oh man, if I play that cash for just 30 minutes, will it just consist of me folding not many interesting spots? But it's actually, it's a different, uh, it's completely different, you know. Obviously, there's a lot of folding, but I don't feel like it's boring or anything. But, like, let me know the feedback on these guys. I have a call here. It's, it's, like, pretty bad without a spade. Um, but, whatever. Um, yeah, and you know the problem, like, if you have the queen of spades now, it's so easy to just call, but now we have, like, an easy fold. Or, like, a raise at least, you know, but, like, with the queen at off, it's just, man, nah, maybe you should just fold the flop there with the, with the gut shot. Maybe I'm a little bit too tight here from the high check. Not sure. <laughs> I don't know. We'll defend the 10-9. And flop will be queen check 8. And he has queen check. Sounds a good idea. Sounds like a good idea. Alright, let's see flop, guys. That is pretty much the opposite of the flop I want to see. Snap fall to any bed. It's activated. That to lose. Can't be that bad. Check that off. It's not suited. It's certainly not suited. People are folding a lot, man. Is it normal? Maybe they maybe it just seems that way, but I feel like people are folding a lot. I would give I would give the king five off here on the button a, a shot. But yeah, not in that case. Gonna con continue folding now. I feel like these two sick hands, it was just like, I know in the last couple of hands not too much happened. You know, it can't be actually packed all the time. But we'll see on the next big blind card of session, guys. Let's hope to end big. Last hand of last episode was the Kings vs. Threes. Hope this time we can hold in a similar spot. And you know, be up like a couple of bucks from the session as well. Hello? Nope. Aces. One day we will get the good hands, guys. King Knight, I will open here. Not anymore. Not too much 3 betting going on either. But I just felt like we didn't got the right hands, not the right spots. So, it's not even being on that here. I will open these 3 and the cutoff. If Geeknor did. Uh, <laughs> fold. Alright. Oh, that was easy. Just everybody like, fold, fold, fold. Alright.
And that's it for the session, guys. We finish up on... Let's put this again on the main screen, guys. There you go. This is how it looks. This was the ASK versus King Han. And... Well, this was the Jack 9 bluff that we tried to attempt into Queen 5. He made the hero. So that's that. Not too much happened. We carried up like a little bit at least. So we finished the session on a plus of $59. Not too bad. Not too bad. We take that. So yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed the videos. And let me know what you think about them. I will catch you next time. Wish you good luck in Berlin. And enjoy your time. Good luck at the tables. See ya. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to press the like button down below and subscribe to the channel over here. Over here we have my social media links if you want to shoot me any messages. Follow me around for updates, pictures when I'm going to live events and more. And over here, some extra videos. If you want to check out more content, be sure to do so. Thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Good luck on the tables. I will catch you next time.